Before this video starts guys, I want to say Happy Filipino Independence Day! Now, if you aren't a Filipino or some Asian, it is our Philippine Independence Day on June 12. And speaking of local stuff, we have a new president! Yay! Now, while you Americans are voting for Donald Trump, we were celebrating to our new president that was just crowned a month ago. His name is Rodrigo Duterte. Now, now you might be all thinking, Oh, Vanilla! Just get into the game, you faggot! Well, that is what I'm going to talk about right now. You see, my first full game review would be all about this topic that we just said. Because while I was looking at the Google Play Store, I found one of the jack shit games out there in the store. So sit back as I review to, to you guys, Duterte fights crime. Now, before I get to this review, right, I want to say that politics is none of my concern when I made this review. In fact, I don't want to get involved in politics myself. But this game is just worth reviewing on. So keep in mind that I'm only reviewing the game, not the whole Philippine government itself. So let's continue on. So you might be wondering how I found this game, right? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> Wait, what the? Oh no. Oh no! Get out of here, Minecraft. I don't want any of your retarded maps. Whoa, man, what's wrong? The retarded game creators are back. They're back, guys. They're back. And they're stronger than ever before. What is that? Holy shit! What do you think we should do? I say, we have to review this trash. If we succeed, people will know about the coming apocalypse of the game. But you won't survive! I'm sorry. I have to do this. And that's how I made this video. First of all, how the fuck did this get into number 3 in the top 3 free games of the store? Well, that rhymed. It got 100,000 downloads in the App Store. God. Hearing that number makes me sick already. Second of all, did you, know, did you know what I said about the first impressions of a Minecraft map is the thing that gets the audience? Well, that also applies in two games. And this game doesn't make a good first impression. Just look at the icon of the app. It just looks disgusting. Okay, so we covered the whole look of the app. Let's see what the game actually offers to us. Oh my god! This game just makes me want to kill myself already. Just look at the title screen. You can, I quote unquote, president holding a grenade and a pistol. Oh, and yes, this actually our president in, the, in our home screen right now. Who in the right mind would want to make a game with our president playing a vital role? I guess the programmers were thinking while they watched the presidential debate. Oh my god, when would Duterte pull out the gun and kill someone? And some dude is all like, maybe we should make a game about it. And I'll be all like, what the fuck, man? Who made this game anyway? Oh, it was you, huh? Well, go sit on the corner. This is what you get for spawning the game from hell. Now when you start the game, it just starts. There's no storyline whatsoever. You just start off as the Duterte holding a gun. I think I'm supposed to say something stupid here, but right now my head just feels numb. Now, the gun you have actually has infinite ammo. But you can get better guns along the way as you progress with limited ammo. So what's the use of the gun in your hand? That's right, it is used to kill corrupted people. Isn't that fun? There are people smoking crystal meth, bank robbers, and serial killers ra lying around that will kill you if you get anywhere near them, and they can kill you with one hit. The good thing is that they can only do damage when they touch you, so they are still easy to destroy as you can just smash the shoot button to kill them with your gun. The game makes you move forward, but you can move right to left around the screen with the arrows presented at the bottom right. Left, I mean. Now, 
In all honesty guys, this game is actually pretty great. Hell, the graphics are bad, the whole concept is fucking bad, but the gameplay is unbelievably perfect. And no, I'm not smoking weed or something. I honestly think that this is a good game. I guess it was no joke that the game was actually placed third in Google Play's top 3. Hell, the game is still on my phone as I speak. So guys, in conclusion, there's no apocalypse coming. The whole game is just a false alarm. I actually fully recommend you to download this game. It's truly addicting to play. So great job for Tata Games on making a game that looks bad on the outside but truly perfect on the inside. But if you ever, ever make at least one bad game, you will have to go down with me.